Anybody that has a child that's medically complex, I think that's the first thing they'll say is that we don't take anything for granted. Parents Joni and Dave Krause are sharing their very personal story, knowing it could help other families. I just don't think we would be able to live with ourselves if we have this information couldn't share it with other people. Dave Krause splits his time between Twin Cities, Minnesota and Bellevue, Washington, where he works for Amazon. Their story begins with their daughter, Jory, conceived through IVF. And I remember talking to our doctor and her telling us, and she was crying of happiness that we were pregnant. But scans during Joni's pregnancy showed something concerning. Their daughter, Jory, might have a possible heart condition. And when she was born, the Krauses were hit with a huge shock. Additional testing showed Jory has DeSanto Shinawi syndrome, a rare genetic disease caused by a missing piece of chromosome 10, something that wasn't detected during genetic testing during their IVF round. You think, oh, I'm gonna have a healthy baby, and they don't realize that that testing only takes care of a small fraction um, of really what could be when it comes to especially rare diseases or in Jory's case, ultra rare diseases. They learn Jory's condition affects heart development and causes severe neurodevelopmental delays. Everything else had a surgery that she was dealing with. And when it came to this, there was there was, there was no fix. The Krause is connected with the Mayo Clinic, where they met doctors Laura Lambert and Whitney Thompson, who had an innovative idea. Using the Mayo Clinic's Baby Force program, they turned to artificial intelligence to search through thousands of FDA-approved medications, looking for something that could help Jory produce more of an important protein that she was missing. The AI identified a commonly used pediatric neurologic medication that could upregulate Jory's remaining functional gene, essentially boosting production of the protein her body desperately needed. It's very unlikely that we would have seen it without the, the AI tools. Before giving it to Jory, they tested it on her cells in a lab to prove it could work. What is unique about what we're doing is that we're taking the patient's own cells and taking that extra step of testing the drug in their cells to see if it works before we recommend that it be prescribed um, to the patient. Whoa! The results have been remarkable. Since starting treatment in April, Good Jory job. has gained new skills at an unprecedented pace, walking with a walker for the first time and saying her first words. Blood tests confirmed her protein levels have normalized, and a recent MRI showed improvements in her brain. We've been blown away by how well she's done since starting treatment. So she only started um, the medication in early April, um, and even within weeks of starting the medication, we were hearing from her parents. The team is now working toward clinical trials to help other children with the same condition. They're also exploring how this AI driven approach could be applied to other rare genetic diseases. It gives us a lot of hope too that, you know, not only for this condition, but um, for other rare genetic conditions, this is a potential approach um, that could work. As for the Krauses, they started a nonprofit called the Jory Effect to raise funds for this specialized therapy and to continue raising hope for Jory and others. What's next? Yeah. And uh, you just sit back and wait and just watch her grow. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pay reporting.